Hello Galactic Family. We would like you to go a short mental journey with us if you will. On this journey, you are a divine being of light that has never been on this planet before. You are cruising around this galaxy and spot a planet that is marvelously filled with billions of beautiful life forms, great oceans, towering mountains, beautiful flowers, birds, and butterflies. The ocean reefs are like kaleidoscopes of colorful fish. It just looks amazing. You ask the light beings around you if any of them have ever spent time on this planet. Several say that they have, but they warn you that, even though it is quite beautiful, it can be a difficult experience. You decide to do it anyway, and arrangements are made. Now you don't want the full-on baby thing, so you just manifest a body and begin exploring. It is marvelous in the oceans, in the forests, and on the mountains. But the strangest thing happens when you start to mingle with the two-legged ones that you have taken the form of. As you are walking through a place that you understand to be a market, you notice the most wonderful smells. You locate their source and you see others buying small portions of things and eating them. You manifest some of their pieces of exchange and acquire some of the treats. As you are walking and eating, you notice another looking at you in disapproval. When you ask why, he tells you that you should not eat that. What? You are completely confused. You are told that it is against something called the book. Later you discover that there are so many shoulds and shouldn'ts all over this planet that it is almost impossible to keep track of them. And further, they change from place to place. It is even the fact that things that are punishable in some places are thought to be desirable in others. What a crazy place you have chosen to explore. To make things worse, you find that those who believe one way are quite capable of being completely intolerant of those who believe another. You wonder how this could have come to be. What possible purpose could it serve except to keep the people separated? And then you begin to understand. Differences that seem as if they would be a good thing to celebrate in other people and places are being used in this place to turn people against each other. Is it of benefit to those people at all? You don't see how it could be. Is it of benefit to anyone? It seems that it has been used to incite some to fight against others. Who might that benefit? It seems as if, over a very long time, the beings who live here have been taught to believe that the things that they knew to be true, were untrue, and the things that they knew to be false, were true. And the oddest thing is that almost no one realizes that they themselves are divine creations, just as you are. They say such things from time to time, but they act as if they really can't understand that it is so. How differently they would act if they knew. How much better would their lives be. But you also find that there is a growing tendency to begin seeing things as they truly are. It is easy to love the beauty of this place. It is very hard to understand why those who live here treat it the way that they do. Of all the places you have seen in your travels, this is one of the most beautiful. And yet you can easily see that it won't remain that way very much longer unless some drastic changes are made. It almost seems as if someone made a decision to destroy as much as possible. Perhaps coming here to experience this was educational, but you decide to cut your stay short. Next time you will make it your business to learn a little more before you decide to take on another body somewhere. Now let's see. Dematerializing 